Apparently, Morgan Wallen got arrested. I'm not laughing. Okay, I'm smiling a little bit because it's stupid. It's really dumb, uh, allegedly. Not even alleged. He threw a chair. He tossed a chair off the roof like a, a fool, fam. If you throw a bottle off the roof, I'm going to look at you like you stupid. Especially growing up in the Bronx, that was something that was real dangerous. This is one staircase. Can't remember the exact name of it, but it's a staircase in the Bronx that people are terrified to walk up and down. Because it's in between two buildings and people's windows. And for some weird reason, people think it's cute to throw stuff out the window like idiots. Like, come on. I've been egged before out of a window when I was a kid. <laughs> just walking past in the projects and just a grown ass adult felt like throwing eggs out the window. So how do you think I feel about a chair? How do you think I feel about a chair? I think he's stupid. What's, what's wrong with this man? Right now, a lot of people are alleging that it's possibly because his ex is getting married. And if that's the case, you need the man up, my G. Where's Tough Tony? Where Tough Tony that was talking to, to Ryan Upchurch all crazy? Where that tough guy at? Throwing a chair in the air ain't tough. Can we imagine? What if it hits him? It was supposed to be six stories, if I'm not mistaken. You throw something off the second floor. That's crazy. Six stories. A chair, and the chair was so strong. Seeing a clip where the police were taking the chair back into the establishment. I think he threw it out of a, a bar, if I'm not mistaken, on Broadway. Right? In fact, yeah, I'm gonna pull a clip. A clip. I'm gonna play a clip in a second. But yeah, man, when I seen the video of the police officer bringing the chair back, the chair was still in one piece. Think about that. That's some strong ass furniture. The chair got launched off the roof. Of a six story, six stories off of the roof, fell down, and they was able to pick it up and put it back in there. Ah, dust it off. Here's your chair back. That means that was a strong gas chair. That means it could have cracked someone's noggin. Right all up in there, right, right, right up in here, just from ow. Oh. Now I ain't gonna front if I could survive that. <laughs> Suing the hell out of Morgan Wall. <laughs> but it's out of all his records. Crazy. I had a friend uh, years ago, years ago, let me fix this mic, that uh, I think he was walking past a construction site and a brick smacked him upside his knock. He get paid for the rest of his life. Now, he is an idiot. I don't know if he was before the accident. Nigga dumb now, though. He's stupid. Just dumb. I'm just talking about just, just common sense. He's, he's, he's a fool. I don't know if the brick did that. I don't, I don't think the risk would be Worth it in that case. Let's pull up a news report where they're speaking on it, man. Pull up a news report. Let's get this on the screen here, a little bit more information, if we can, about this fool Morgan. I'm being hard on him because that just sounds stupid. That's not like even a, a mistake. What was he drunk? Even if he was drunk, nigga, I don't care. You don't just toss a what? I'm gonna have to hit you with that Bruce Lee. What, what don't hit back? Chairs don't throw back. You throw chair, chair don't throw back. You got to be like water. This guy's crazy. All right, let's pull up this article real quick. I said article. This video. So throwing a tell business leaders have make sure the speed's not too crazy. I know I listen to stuff on double speed when I listen to it a long time. Reacted to uh, multiple events of people throwing things off the Broadway roof. Tell me if the audio is good. Peyton Kennedy's live on Lower Broadway following country star Morgan Wallen's arrest. Uh, so there's multiple people. Stool off of top of Chiefs Sunday night. Yeah, Neil, again, this is a very tall bar here. Chiefs is six stories tall and towers above Broadway. So the director of nightlife says this very easily could have turned deadly. And he is thankful that more people were not standing on Broadway Damn. down below. Damn, the place where he was at, right? They could have been sued. They could have been sued. What? Why are you not keeping better track of your chairs? Why are people even able to do that? You should have a gate blocking it. There's a whole bunch of stuff, but I don't blame them because they didn't think idiots is going to be in there tossing stuff. It's crazy how that truck said yeehaw behind it. That's funny. That sounded like something he said when he threw the damn uh, chair. Yeehaw. Just tossed it. It's crazy. I don't care how drunk you are. That's dumb. 
that's that's really foolish. I wouldn't hang out with somebody that does stuff like that. You doing stuff like that currently, not like as a child. I can't rock with you. Like, like how do you not think the lives of the civilians? What if your fans was down there? They like, oh look, Morgan Wild. Oh, that's a chair, and then just smacks them upside their head. Crazy. So immediately after this happened, Morgan Wallen was arrested and charged with three counts of felony reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct. The director of nightlife, Benton McDonough, said yeah. he and downtown business yeah. partners. Trust me, from my experience, I'm not a bar owner, but I've worked in bars, clubs as a bouncer. And as the person who was put in charge of making sure stuff like this didn't happen, Nick, what? If I was working, fam, if I was a bouncer back in the day and that happened, I'm getting fired. If I was there and I didn't grab that and grab him, and then on top of that, we can't even let him leave. I couldn't even, and I've told you guys the stories of when I was bouncing, crazy things happened. We had to jump and do a heck, homeboy in a headlock. I'm about to throw him outside. They're like, yo, put him in the bathroom. We got to sober him up first because legally we can't let him leave that drunk. It's crazy. So yes, he's putting his life in danger. He's putting like people, the civilians on the streets in danger. He's putting the club at risk just it's a foolish behavior man it's like really immature look at him smiling in the mug shot that shit ain't even cool bro that's not even he's smiling like like how i used to smile <laughs> when i got caught by the principal in school for fighting it was me you know it was me it's your boy attention as I eat smell. No, this is serious, dude. This is serious. Like you really put people's lives at risk and you smiling in the picture. This nigga's a loser. <laughs> this nigga's a loser. Plan to send a this how the mainstream act? What label he with? This how the mainstream act? Message to folks that throwing things off of downtown rooftops Disgusting. is not tolerated. McDonough said bars work closely with the MMPD to enforce the rules, and they also su review surveillance video immediately if something were to happen. So on top of Chiefs, there is a wide ledge between the rooftop patio and the drop-off to Broadway below. No, this ain't no outlaw-ish. An outlaw might have cracked somebody with it inside the bar, nigga. That's, that's an outlaw-ish, nigga. You just throwing it off? Or like, what, what is that? That doesn't prove you tough. That didn't, doesn't prove anything other than you are Ooh. So if he thought that was some outlaw-ish and it made him a badass, he is mistaken. That don't make him a badass. ...that help prevent items from falling off the roof and that make it harder to yeah, they need a items gate. below. Although he says that should never happen in the first place. It's a combination of concerning and being dumbfounded as to why a grown person would, would feel a grown man to, to throw... Then I say that that seemed like some little kid ish. And even when I was a kid, I would still never even think to do that. Like what? My mom would have. Yo. Oh my gosh. I just caught a flashback thinking about the whooping I would have got. Oh my God. And I'm a grown man. Oh, my mom would have melted me. Nigga, <laughs> like what? would have melted me nigga like you crazy if i threw a chair oh my gosh only thing my mom didn't get mad at was the fights so i was defending myself if i threw a chip oh my man my aunt my grandma my godmama which i pretty much call my aunt too as well what's up how you doing all right this is case you watching me how you doing but yeah fam like they all would have showed up to my house with church hats on at the front door what's up you throwing chips? Oh, because <laughs> you, th you think because you grown and <laughs> just take their earrings off, take that big ass church hat off, put it down like like the Undertaker. <laughs> you just put that because <laughs> they about to take me under and put it down the like Undertaker and whip me out. That nigga look like that he's acting as if he never had a grown adult in his life to show him right from wrong. That's what he's acting like. And I grew up in a group home and I still <laughs> just with no nigga because I've been in the house with my mom enough. No, a, uh, a stool off of the top of a uh, rooftop. 
This guy's nuts. Now, when I reached out to chiefs yesterday, they didn't have a statement to share, but it seems that they are sending another message this morning as they just changed the marquee here to say our pigs fly, our chairs don't. Live in Nashville, Peyton Kennedy, News 2. They pigs fly? I don't even know what they mean. I don't even know what they mean. I know them chairs shouldn't have. Man. I know that. I would have banned them from my establishment. I might have went roadhouse, nigga. I might have went roadhouse in this bitch. That's what they need. They need them a roadhouse. Where Jake Gyllenhaal at? Right? That, he was in the remake. Just watched that a few days ago. It was, like, was mid. It yeah. wasn't a 10. Conor McGregor was walking around like this. But anyway, I digress. Y'all ain't hear me talking about roadhouse right now. I think Morgan Wallen is a, a loser for that. You put people's lives at risk. What if you was walking around like down that street with your family and a chair comes flying from, I lose my mom. I, I would lose my mom. I would catch a flashback and give them one of those ass women my mom used to hand out. It's just like, did you just pull your belt off, nigga? Like, who do you say? I'm joking, of course. You know, speaking of in video games. I'm joking. Hit me and my family with a damn chair from the sky. I'm definitely suing. <laughs> That's not a joke. I am suing 100%. But yeah, I think he was out of pocket. I think he was out of line. He put a lot of people's lives at risk. And this dude's a loser and should receive the full penalty. I don't care if he's famous or not. Right? It's just, it's disgusting to think that just because you have a certain level of fame of money that you are above the law. And you're just outrageous like that. And if you can't contain your liquor or hold your liquor to where you're just doing dumb stuff like that, guess what? I think it's time that you, you wrap it up. You had enough. You had no more liquor for you. huh? Treat you like a Seinfeld when he was giving out soup. No soup for you. No alcohol for you. Shut him down. You see his face. Put a picture of this nigga face on the bar. If you even going to allow him in your establishment, put a picture of his face like behind the bar. And so he could look and go, oh, no, Morgan, no. We ain't serving you. All you get is apple juice and water. Which one you want? You want water? Okay. Get him some tap water. We ain't even give him bottled water. You ain't good enough for bottle. Mr. Chair throw. Get us some tap water in a dirty glass. Just don't even rinse it out. Just dump out the leftover beer. Put some water in that. There you go. That'll be $300. Oh, you don't like my prices? Get the hell out of my establishment. <laughs> Yo, I would be wild if I owned the bar, bro. I, I would turn it into Roadhouse. That's a fact, nigga. My spinning back kicks is mean, nigga. Yo, don't test me. Don't test me. But anyway, I digress, man. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button. All that good stuff as, as well. Morgan Wallen. That's what <laughs> they changed his name to. Morgan Wallen.